Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be decorating my very amazing cow farm because whilst the inside is looking pretty good, the outside is just a brick box which has kind of been textured. And I do have a door over here which is kind of nice, but the rest of it, not too good. So I think I'm going to use this block over here for the roof as I think it goes quite well and it just kind of looks like a roof block. I'm also going to try to cover up these factory things by adding more factory things that look nice, you know, like fun factory details, like hogs and stuff. And there's this also thing over here, my wheat farm, that I'm going to try to cover up with something. I'm not really sure what, but I might as well get started and start making the roof because we really do need a roof right now. Like, if it rains, these cows are really going to get rained on, aren't they? So I've just about finished the roof now. Just kidding, I still need to do the whole back and this is going to take a while because unlike other blocks, Viridium isn't in the menu for World Edit because it's not a vanilla block. So I need to go in and I need to place all of these slabs over the top. Um, I'm also thinking of adding some chimneys up here just to make it look a bit cooler because it's a bit, there's not really many details right now. It's a bit plain and I, I want it to be details and also on this side. Yeah, I'm going to need to add a bit of something here because it's a bit flat right now. So I'm going to quickly do that. And then this time I actually will finish it, I promise. So I've now properly finished the roof and I think I did a pretty good job. Oh, I forgot to do a black line there. But apart from that, it's all pretty much done. And I did add a temporary brick roof to this. And I have some of these motors over here, but I actually have a genius plan to cover them up which I'll probably do when I start adding the details. But the next thing we're going to need to do is, I think the best next step is windows. So I think I'm going to do long, thin ones, a bit like this, and just have them going down the factory. And then maybe we can have another door over here if it's not blocking anything. Oh, well, okay. I think we can have a door here that's next to this because this kind of looks like the front. But another thing I do want to try to add is a train station because soon I want to add trains to everything and you can have these things which are train stations which I can add to like, oh, I'm not really sure what this is about, but I can add it to the side and I want this to look like it has a place to drop off all of the wheat and the beef that it produces. So let me get to doing the windows and the train station and just decorating everything and then I can come back and I can show you just a bit of what I've done. I probably won't finish it yet, but I can at least try. Okay, so I actually decided to, to um, stop for a second because I was doing the windows and I'm not really sure what type of window I want because we have these copycat panels, which I look quite think that they look quite cool with the X's. And I like that. But these two, this one and the andesite bars, they look cool, but they're, they just look a little bit like a prism. But I don't really like how bright this one is over here and I think maybe if I use the trapdoor version it might look a bit better but I'm still just not completely sure which one I should choose because this is going to go over the whole thing and I don't really think mixing and matching is a good idea but looking back I think maybe this one might be the best or that one I don't like that one at all so you know I'll see what I do but yeah, you can tell I really have not done much. I just started and then I just didn't know what to do. But I'll figure out something and then we can just show what I've built. It took me ages, but I did the windows and I put the word cow at the top. So, you know, if you're over here, you're looking at all of my amazing factories, which are right now not built. You see, and you're like, hmm, that definitely is the cow one. And I decided to go with the copycat windows because... I don't know, I think that they look the best because they're like, you can see through them quite well, but they're not also like as white as before, which I know is kind of silly as I just added white banners, but I think this is really cool. So now I need to actually go and, you know, maybe add some ter terraforming underneath here because it's a bit f floaty right now. And I mean, in real life, I'll be very happy about a floating building, but here it looks quite ugly. So I'm just going to fix that add a couple details and also fix this because this is very um flat and a bit ugly so everything is ugly everything needs to be fixed apart from that i love that so much Inclu including my computer which also needs to be fixed because i'm lagging so much and oh 
need to do some terraforming. And I'm actually really enjoying building this. I'm actually really enjoying decorating this. I think it's more fun to decorate it than um, build the contraption because I'm so bad at the creating wood. I'm not that good at building, but I'm definitely better at building than I'm at redstone because it just doesn't make sense. You know, redstone is just so confusing and it just none of it makes sense. Like, you walk in here. What part of this actually makes sense? You know, I have a box full of cows and I have... Okay, this thing makes sense. And over here, I have this thing which shoots it up. Like, I mean, this is create mod. Imagine how bad it'll be when I can't just do that. I have to like, actually bring the items in a like, proper way. So, I mean, okay, I think I've done my terraforming now. It looks pretty good. So now I need to actually make windows and stuff. Annoyingly, sadly. So I got a little bit preoccupied and I made a train. I don't know why. I just wanted to make a train station. And I thought, well, you can't make a train station without a train. So I made a train. Um, I'm actually going to change the corners because now I'm looking from far. Yeah, that looks a lot better. So I haven't affected anything. I've literally just been spending like an hour making a train. But it's done now. So yeah, I can go back and I can... Well, there's nothing here, but I can try to add a window maybe. You know, using these copycats. Um, yeah, so maybe I haven't been being the most productive, but it's, I mean, a train is pretty cool, isn't it? Like, I mean, I have all the things I could be doing, and also I have power to conduct the plane, the train, what? Um, and yeah, I also think these tracks look really cool, like, compared to, like, minecart tracks, they're a lot wider, but they also look very cool. And, yeah, I'm just, oh got some stuff over here i'm just very much enjoying making my train so that's good so like if you see from the inside it's like oh i'm over here i've got loads of beef i want to put it on the train just go along here put it on the train but the front actually does look quite cool now like not gonna lie it's looking pretty good so i just need to do the sides and the back now and i'll be pretty much done so that's good I'll, this time I actually will do what I said, because I've said three times and I haven't done it. Okay, I'm going to do it. Yes. So I think that I'm finally finished. So this is what it looks like from the front. It looks basically the same, apart from that I added leaves. Um, I brought the train track down underground as well, which I'm not sure was a good idea. I think it definitely helps, because otherwise you couldn't get along to this side. So, you know, now you can walk along here. And I also did add some like cows and wheat just because I know that um, you can see the word cow, but I think it also helps, you know, if I'm over here, like, oh, there's a cow over there, it's this way. And I really like this like water wheel. I think it adds, it's really good. And it replaces the creative motor that was there before. And also these things over here are pretty cool. They don't do anything. They just look cool and I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make it look like the factory actually does stuff. So, you know, this makes it seem like there's something going on in there. And I tried to use these leaves to cover up this gap that I have to do. Because I need it so that the uh, weighted um, thing can make the wheat go from there to there. And I don't think it's too bad. Like, you, it's not really very noticeable. And then now we can go inside. We can either go in through here or we can go around to this side and go in through here. And it's not very detailed over here but I added some leaves and I think it looks quite good so if we come in here there's so many cows um you know there's I've, I've taken all of that out of the chest but if we want we can just kill all of these guys because they've just I haven't killed them since um I've just been building this so there's just so many of them and now we can wait for there's so many in there as well we can wait for some more you know and then this Robbie will come along and a oh, bit of a hole, did not notice that. And I think I did a pretty good job. Now, I'm not really going to mention the back. I haven't really detailed it at all because this is the edge of like where I'm going to be building. So I don't really need to decorate that bit. Like I'm never going to see it and like no one else is going to see it. So what's the point? But overall, I think this is a pretty good build. Like 
I'm not the best at building, but I would say this is one of the better things I've ever made. And hopefully all of the other farms will be good as well. I'm thinking that next I'm going to make a log farm. Gonna have to figure out how to do that. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video.